So how much would you pay for the opportunity to break bread with the world's greatest living investor? You got an extra nearly $1.7 million sitting around. That's how much it took this year's winner of the Warren Buffett charity lunch to snag the chance to pick not just its salad, but at Buffett's investment brain. And guess what? First on Fox Business, we're giving you a seat at the table. Liz Clayman is live in Manhattan with the Oracle of Omaha himself. Liz? Dagan, all he says he ever wants is a steak and a cherry coke. He acts all down to earth, but it always ends up costing somebody an arm and a leg. But the $1.7 <laughs> million dollars is worth it to the winner of this year's Warren Buffett charity lunch as it goes to, of course, his favorite charity, the Glide Foundation. First on Fox Business, we are joined now by Warren Buffett Chairman and CEO Berkshire Hathaway. And We'll be introducing the winner in just a moment. Sure. Welcome, Warren. Hi, Liz. Does it always amaze you how much people will pay to have lunch with you? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. And, and, in Omaha, you know, I mean, it's, uh, I'm lucky if I can get somebody to take me to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, and that's a lot cheaper. Last year's winner paid $2.11 million. Zhao Danyang, and he, of course, was a Chinese hedge fund manager. Now, you know, Ben Bernanke says he doesn't see deflation, but... 1.67 million dollars. I see a price drop here, Warren. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> well, we'll see what happens uh, in the future. But, but actually, uh, what what Courtney and and, and Celia paid was the second highest. Uh, it started out at twenty-five thousand dollars maybe ten years ago, and uh, and then when we went to eBay, it got up to two hundred and fifty thousand, and and then generally it's it's moved up since then. Now the two hundred and fifty thousand was two thousand three, and it was David Einhorn, the fund manager. Mm -hmm. The questions that he asked back then, my goodness, what a different landscape we have today. Why do you think it's so important for people to pay this money? And I know it's weird for me to be asking you this because you're saying I'm not that great, but you are considered the world's greatest investor. Well, well I only do one a year. That that helps. I mean, not, not being out there all the time. And, but you probably should ask Courtney. Well, let's bring her, her in here. Her check cleared. <laughs> Congratulations with the check cleared. We're introducing Courtney Wolf of Salida. And you, of course, are Canadian. Yes, I am. And you're bringing eight friends. Are you yes. making them pay for some of this? Absolutely not. It's uh, paid for by myself and my two partners, Brad White and Danny. Why Guy. was it important for you to bid this much money? Well, I mean, think, I think there's a, a number of reasons that we did it. First of all, uh, Mr. Buffett is one of the world's greatest investors, and so it's an honor and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have that experience. Uh, there's a few people that are very important to us that we brought along to the lunch to thank them. And then, most importantly, it is... The money has gone to an incredible foundation, which we had the opportunity of seeing. So. Well, uh, what are you going to ask him? I know you have a list of questions. What's the first question you would ask Warren Buffett? Well, oh, I can't ruin the surprise. <laughs> lots, of, lots of things that we want to talk about over lunch. You know, one of the things that everybody who wins this lunch want to ask you about is your investing style. Now, of course, the landscape has changed so much over just the past couple of years. Do you feel your investing style has changed, or do you keep it to what it is, and that is to buy very high-quality companies at a fair price? Well, I would say generally, I have, no, I, it hasn't changed since I met Ben Graham, uh, you know, 60 years ago or there about. Uh, uh, but uh, to get more specific than that, only Courtney's going to find out. <laughs> you do buy companies that you talk about with the moat of opportunity, like, for example, a Coca-Cola, which, you know, they make a product, and that's what everybody wants to talk about, I'm sure. and. You look at the companies that you have bought over the years and then doing this charity. The, the, the foundation, of course, goes to homeless and poor people. Right. My goodness, Courtney, hasn't the world changed that more and more people need services like that? I think that's what's so exciting about uh, this uh, donation because the money went to such an incredible cause. And if you look at even just their food program, our donation was able to actually... Uh, pay for over uh, or just under 500,000 meals. So it's incredible. What do you hear from Reverend Cecil? Well, I, I talked to him just the other day, and I mean, this is a man that went out there in the, I think, the early 1960s and faced all kinds of obstacles. Here he was, a young black minister going to a, a decaying church in the middle of San Francisco with 100 plus white parishioners, mostly elderly. And instead of seeing a church that was on its way to oblivion, he saw the chance to build a, a terrific social institution. And he's got all of the energy and spark now. I mean, he is guided by the same same things that motivated him uh, almost 50 years ago. So he's a marvelous human being. Does it break your heart how many people these days need his services for homeless and poor? Well, it's 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 a terrible problem. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I, mean, I, I was lucky in life, but, but uh, many, many people aren't. And uh, Cecil really, he takes people that are almost beneath what anybody else uh, is, is ready to work with. I mean, people that the world has given up on, and, and he doesn't give up on anybody, and the results have shown now for 
close to 50 years. It's a marvelous, marvelous institution. What are you going to order? That's the question here. <laughs> it's always steak and hash browns. And this is, this is the best steakhouse in New York by, uh, by a dramatic margin. I love this place. <laughs> and it's Smith and Walensky, first on Fox Business, Warren Buffett and Courtney Wolf. Of course, the winner, $1.67 million. How high were you willing to go, Courtney? We would have gone a little higher, I imagine. Oh, <laughs> but she didn't have to. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't have to. Do you own Berkshire Hathaway stock? We don't. We don't. Because she's in an alternative investments. Uh, She's invited to the annual meeting, yeah. and you can bring anybody you want. <laughs> so I think we may go which, uh, the annual shareholder letter will be coming out Saturday, is that correct? Saturday morning at um, 8 Eastern. Berkshire Hathaway, Saturday, 8 Eastern, um, the shareholder letter, which is always much awaited because you get sense of what Mr. Buffett has thought about the past year and how his investments have done something tells me you're pretty proud. Well, we're feeling good. <laughs> well, we'll be, of course, live on Saturday with Dagan. Dagan, your show. And uh, enjoy your lunch and congratulations. Thank